Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Civilization VI. And today I want to talk about NPC personalities, and for me personally, I think they're watered down a little bit. You know, when you played Civ V and then you play Civ VI, Civ V, the NPCs have way more defined personalities than they do in Civ VI, you know? And in Civ VI, they still have agendas, right? But the nation that I always think about in Civ VI that has a really good personality is Spain right? Because Spain uses that Spanish Inquisition style of conquest to conquer you, right? Um, another one is India, where they try to keep world peace, you know? But after those two, like, it's kind of just there. The civs don't really feel unique to me. A lot of it is like, Oh, there's Congo, Canada, Australia, and Japan. And they all kind of just exist, you know? Like, I feel like if you played a game where you had the Siamese in Civ V, or you had the Iroquois or America, like, it was very defined personalities, and you could randomize the personalities too, which I, th I think was really good, and I wish that you could do that in Civ VI. So, I think the NPC personalities they're watered down in Civ 6 because I think part of it is they miss a little bit of dynamic uh, systems where, you know, everyone has a hidden agenda, but you could you just play the game enough to know the hidden agenda. There's no kind of like India in this game plays differently than India in this game than this game, you know? And, you know, there's a bunch of ways to win Civ 6, and I kind of think that um, in a game where, like, you have a culture Civ, they would go about winning culture different ways, you know? I think that stuff like that would be really cool. I also think that changing up how civilizations respond to different events would be kind of cool. Where, like, randomly there would be... You know, this wouldn't work with the Congo, so I think this should be a concept with the Congo, but, like, let's just say, um, randomly, if you start converting someone to that religion, it's like, they're like, no, 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 don't do that. We don't want that. Or some people are like, yeah, do it. Or same with war or science, you know, there's some people that you're going to war, they don't care about you, right? Australia would be a good one for that to sometimes happen. And also, I, I kind of wish that if you had spies, you could see people's policy cards beyond just, oh, it's a theocracy. Like, you could be like, okay, this guy's got a theocracy, but he's focusing on science. So he's, what's what's going on with him? Why is he doing that? You know, but like... You could be like, okay, theocracy and religious points. They're like, oh, you're going for a religious bonus? So they're more wary about your religious endeavors, but not so much your militaristic endeavors or your scientific endeavors. I think that'd be a really cool feature to have, but I think that that would also make spying pretty fun too, because I think spies are a little tiny bit underwhelming in this game, just a tiny bit. So that's really all I got for you guys. Um, quick video, just saying, hey, I kind of wish NPC personalities were more intense randomized, you know, not the same every time. And, you know, I kind of missed that from Civ V. I think that that would be a very good reason for me to play Civilization V over Civilization VI. Let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. That's it for this video. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.